Hello everyone, welcome to Next Trace. In my previous videos, I have discussed about the synthesis and general properties of quantum dots. Today, I'll be discussing on the commonly used method of purification of uh, quantum dots. So, if you are working with the fluorescent properties of the quantum dots and you are not doing proper purification, you won't be uh, getting desired results. So, let's start. These are some of the general purification techniques used in laboratory, main, namely uh, centrifugation, syringe filtration, dialysis, and column chromatography. Coming to the first one, centrifugation is the most common technique. Every lab generally has this instrument. In centrifugation, the large jar molecules and uh, aggregates settle down due to the rotor speed. At the smaller species, i.e., the quantum dots, separate out uh, in the solution. This is mainly done to remove the large aggregates, which could limit the fluorescent properties of the quantum dots. Followed by centrifugation, one needs to use a syringe membrane filter. Generally of a 0.2 micron pore size, the pore size of the membrane filter is written on it, as shown in the picture. Here the membrane filter has a pore size of 0.45 microns. The membrane filter helps in the removal of large non-fluorescent species from the quantum dot solution, which uh, cannot be separated just by means of centrifugation. One thing uh, you must keep in mind while uh, using this filter is not to apply too much pressure or it could damage the membrane filter. Dialysis. So the last uh, two purification techniques help in the removal of larger entities, but what about the smaller unreacted molecules? The solution to this question is the use of a dialysis bag. In the dialysis technique, the quantum dot solution is placed in a dialysis bag which is closed at both ends and is immersed in the purifying solvent, um, generally water, as you can see in this picture. After this technique, you can collect your pure quantum dots. In many cases, you may also require column filtration. If you have done your major in chemistry, you should have an idea of how column chromatography works. Here, you collect different fraction of columns. Column chromatography is a preparative technique which is used to purify compounds depending on their polarity or hydrophobicity. In column chromatography, a mixture of molecules is separated based on their differentials partitioning between a mobile phase and a stationary phase. Please see the first picture. Suppose you have different types of carbon dots with a mixture of their fluorescent intensities. You can use a column to separate out the fraction with the maximum intensity. And also, if in case you have a quantum dot so with a different color of fluorescent emission, then you can also use a column. Well, uh, we all uh, know that the large size of nanoparticles have uh, the larger the size of nanoparticles, the more their fluorescence uh, emission would be redshifted. As you can see in the picture, the blue emission fraction is collected first, and at the last, the red emission fraction is collected. So that's it. You can implement this purification technique say, in your works to get the desired results. This is some of the sources from which I have taken help in preparing my presentation. Thank you and good luck with your quantum dot research.